And then we have, uh, what's the next one? Realized price. If you want to talk yeah. through uh, realized price. Sure. So yeah, so that was, that was from a momentum standpoint, see that it's about 47 K when we move on now to the value framework, uh, we're talking about, you know, like extreme value, like cyclical bottom type of areas for BTC. Uh, we currently see that as about 22 to 24 K. Uh, again, not necessarily saying that that is most definitely going to happen. Just saying that if, you know, you got to speak in an if then, if, if then format, right? So yeah. if we got to that area, I would be looking at, you know, that's where I'd be, you know, betting the farm and, you know, deploying all of my dry powder uh, just because it's so plus EV to deploy historically at some of these levels we're about to talk about. So, yeah, first we'll start with realized price. Uh, this currently sits at 24,000 uh, USD. That's essentially the, you know, we talk about short term holder cost basis, but realized price is just the absolute aggregated cost basis uh, of all the UTXOs on chain. Uh, and so whenever whenever price goes below that historically that served as an amazing buy opportunity um, for people with kind of that multi-year time horizon uh, and and by definition whenever price is below realized price what that's telling you is that you know all in aggregate market participants are underwater right because by definition you're below their cost basis um, and so that's where you can start to see some major capitulation etc uh, that's kind of where you want to be allocating historically Gotcha. And then I know uh, our friend Z score is back. So talk to me through what you're yeah. seeing here. Yeah, I love this chart. I think it's um one of the one of the best ones to be looking at for for what we're talking about here from from a value perspective. So this is comparing it's another way to look at the chart we just looked at, but instead you're just taking a ratio of price to realized price. So whenever again, whenever market price gets below realized price, by definition, uh, market participants are underwater in aggregate. Uh, and so that's when you get into that green zone at the bottom. So if Bitcoin's price was to go below that realized price around 24,000, then that oscillator would move down into that green zone. The green zone historically is marked basically generational buy opportunities for BTC. Um, so again, that's an area where if we entered that green zone, that's for, for me personally, of course, not financial advice, uh, where I'd be just looking to deploy all of the remaining cash that I'm sitting on um, in case, you know, we you know, in case we, we do enter that threshold. Uh, I mean, and you said what, that's at 24,000? Yeah, uh, at 24,000. And so, you know, that, that, would be the, that would be the start going into that green zone. Uh, you know, if we started going below, essentially I have bids ladder down from about 24 to 22K. Uh, and the, the 22K comes from the next chart we're looking at. Uh, I'm sorry, the, in a few charts, in a few charts we're looking at. Uh, the 200 week, the 200 week moving average has basically caught every cyclical bottom basically to the tick. Um, that's a pretty widely known moving average that um, is used in almost all markets, but for BTC is, has been a great uh, signal. And so yeah, I have I have my bids ladder down from that realized price down to that 200 uh, week moving average. Hey you, did you like this video? Great, we make five of them a day and post them here on this channel. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, and see you next time.